Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Nicole, of course. If you guys are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, make sure you click that notification bell to get notified every single time that I post here on my channel. Today, we are going to be making something really, really exciting and something that I absolutely love to eat so, so much, even though it does have a lot of calories in it. But I used to eat this all the time back in Milwaukee. I used to go to this place called Seven Mile Fair. Um, all the people from Milwaukee, you guys know what that is. Um, it's kind of like a farmer's market almost thing. But um, they sell little cups of this uh, that you can buy in the little food court area. So basically what we're going to be making today, I'm sure it's in the title somewhere, is elote. Now I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, I hope I'm not offending anyone at all whatsoever. That's not my intentions. But we're, what you're going to need so far, or need everything for this video basically, is some corn. I got six of them just because I will be doing a mukbang after this. And you know I need like a huge display. I probably will not be eating all of them, but you know. So you're gonna need some corn, some bamboo skewers um, so that you can put the corn on the stick, some Mexican fresh cheese. Now I chose this kind and um, actually before I started recording this video, I see, I kind of looked up on YouTube like a little tutorial on it real quick and I didn't get the right, the correct ingredients um such as like i got sour cream like this what i would use on tacos and then i i knew that there was like mexican cream out there but i did not grab that and then um she used cayenne pepper i have chili powder but that's pretty much the same thing and she used spreadable butter but i also don't have that either i just have like butter in a stick so it's all right we're gonna make make do with what we have so um like i said cheese i have chili powder mayonnaise sour cream i think theirs just spreads a little bit easier and it comes in like a jar rather than like the squeezable thing butter and then she put some tajin um on top of it for like a garnish i thought i had a huge bottle of this but apparently i only had these little baby baby ones so that's what i'll be using in my video i think they'll look really really cute for like a setup in the mukbang so i already have my pot boiling for the corn and it's the only pot i have you guys know this as you guys seen in my other cooking videos so what I'm gonna do is start off by cleaning and shucking the corn preparing it to go inside the water so let me set you guys up for that okay so now that I just got done washing my hands I'm gonna start prepping the corn for you guys here in the sink
prepping all of the corn, washing it thoroughly and stuff like that. I'm gonna take it over to my cutting board. Now what you wanna do is just kind of cut off the end of the corn if you haven't broken it all the way off when you were washing it. like this and one of these aren't the best so I was maybe going to shave the, it off and put it in a cup and do like a little cup version I'm not totally sure yet um, because I do want it to look nice for the mukbang but we'll see how it goes after I cook it So then we're going to go ahead and put them in the water, the boiling water. <laughs> Steaming pot, you're going to want to take your corn and throw some into the pot like so. I hope these all fit in there. I may have to take out some water, but the video that I've watched on YouTube, she adds a little bit of salted butter, which I'm gonna do in a second. So just go ahead and add a little bit of salted butter in there for it to cook. And then you're going to want to cover it up and set a timer for 40 minutes. I out and go do something real quick, but I made sure I put the corn in this Tupperware right here to keep it nice and warm. So I have set everything up. I have the cheese, the um, sour cream with mayonnaise. That's how the girl did it in her video. She mixed the two, but I think I only remember using mayonnaise and butter, but we're gonna go ahead and try it this way. Um, I don't have the exact ingredients, but I still feel like this is going to be very, very good. So I have my cooked corn right here oh spilling everywhere <laughs> but i have my corn right here and we're gonna go ahead and open up the bamboo skewers i am so excited for this <sighs> oh my gosh so these might be i don't know these might be too thin but let's go ahead and try this out i did wash my hands so let me try to stick this in here. I'm kind of scared. They're going, but. All right, I'm not gonna like force it. it kind of went in there. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is like cut off this extra length right here. But let me just get all of these ready and set to go for me to put all the goodies on top of them that I watched also she had she didn't have the skewers so she used chopsticks which is a really good idea as well um, but I think I have chopsticks I just don't know where they are exactly right now so for the sake of the video and if you want to do this at home just make sure you buy a little bit thicker skewers um, I just I bought the little ones no big deal though they still work the same well I mean you can't really hold them right because they just like flop over <laughs> but for the looks of it we'll just say yeah mm. all right gonna cut off a good amount of length on these oh they're flying everywhere oh my gosh be careful with this one <laughs> all right <clears throat> I'll clean the rest of those up 
later but here we go you guys i wish i had a little brush like if you would brush on some like barbecue on some ribs that kind of brush but we don't so what we're gonna do is i forgot what order she put it in i'm gonna just do the butter first and i try to make it melt a little bit so that i could like rub this on here but obviously <laughs> um you know, bottle, but bottle. Um, you can do this in a diff, a lot easier way, cause she had like spreadable butter in a, in a can, not a can, but a container. So I mean, it's still the same thing, right? So just go ahead and spread this all over your corn. Mine's a hot mess right now. <laughs> I guess I wasn't too prepared for this, huh? When am I ever prepared? It's cool. It's gonna look good though. That's all I know. And go ahead and take your mayonnaise and sour cream mixture. Spread that on all over. Kind of coat it. Actually, I think it's supposed to be more mayonnaise than sour cream. Because I'm just, yeah, I really think it's supposed to be mayonnaise. But do however you want to do it. I actually might do a mayonnaise one instead of sour cream. But let's just see how this goes first. We're winging it. We're winging it. <laughs> um, personally, next time for all the rest of these, I think I'm going to go ahead and use mayonnaise. And then a little bit of sour cream. This will be the only one that's like doused in sour cream and we'll see how that works out but <clears throat> yeah few future references definitely go with the mayonnaise you guys can see it over here sprinkle the cheese mm -mm -mm. get all that leftover on that plate that fell these are like huge chunks of cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are going to come for me. I already know it. It's fine though. So here's your first one. Let's go ahead and try to put some of this chili pepper. Oh, it's not even open. <clears throat> Let's open this up and then I'm going to set them on this tray that you guys can't see. Um, right over here, and then I'll show you what they look like after. Ooh, there we go. Mm, 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 mm. So this is the first one. Doesn't it look so good? I'm gonna put this right over here and continue on. the fall decor going on um thank you for all the love on that those videos the fall videos and thank you for um all the compliments on my red hair i appreciate that some of you guys ask well just dm me if you want to know where i got those from okay so let me grab this in a different bowl it's gonna be all cute with the glass bowls, but I don't think I have any more. So for these next um, couple of corns, I'm gonna use mayonnaise. If you guys do end up trying these out and making them at home, definitely definitely tag me in them i would love to see it what you guys did differently or the same how yours turned out that would be awesome 
Okay, I'm gonna do that. Put a little bit of this, just a little bit on here. Not trying to have this be a super long video. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the cheese, spread some on there. Probably should have broke this up a little bit or broke it down a little bit more. <laughs> Let's cover this up. It's not the best looking. I figured I would do like a lot better. But hey, it's my first time making this. And then the next time around, I'm definitely going to get the correct ingredients. <laughs> but this is just, you know, for a little bit of fun. I'll probably speed up this process. Um, and then talk to you guys when this is over with so ah, So this is the final outcome. I know I didn't do everything step by step like correctly in the book But it is what it is. I think they came out absolutely great um, I'm gonna let you get an up close look at these um, They look really really good to me. So Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section Yum. Mm, mm, mm. Hey right, guys, I love you so, so, so much. Please leave a comment down below on what you guys thought about this video. I would absolutely love that. Let me know if you want to see more cooking videos in the future. I'm going to go ahead and set up my mukbang and get this party started. So I'll see you in the next one. You can always follow me here on YouTube and Instagram. And Nicole, of course, on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, it's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. I love you guys so much. Bye!